The Enlisted Advancement Worksheet, or EAW, is now an automated process within the Navy Standard Integrated Personnel System, or INSIPS, for most sailors. So what does it mean? EAW means no more manual calculations or paper worksheets. The Regional and Command Educational Services Officer, or ESO, as well as Command Reviewers, and you, will be able to leverage your online EAW. In short, a leaner, more accurate workflow that helps sailors advance. This brief tutorial will cover information you can find on the Navy Personnel Command's public page on EAW, the Smart Sheets, What's New For You bulletins, and FAQs provide detailed information for all EAW roles as well as routing information and system functionality. Bookmark this page and return to it often for updates. Let's take a quick look at the Enlisted Advancement Worksheet. Sailors with existing NSIP self-service accounts will automatically have access to their EAW. It will appear as a menu under the task function of their self-service account. ESOs, Command ESOs, and Command Reviewers must establish new EAW accounts in NSIPs by submitting a System Access Authorization Request, or SAR. You'll find details on how to submit on NPC's EAW page by clicking on this link. Operational units that don't have access to the online EAW will complete PDF versions of the worksheet. Instructions on executing EAW with limited or no bandwidth can be found on NPC's EAW page by clicking on the EAW Routing Operational Commands link. There's nine steps in the workflow of the EAW. Step 1. The worksheets are published in NSIPs and sailors can view their own EAW in their self-service account. The ESO, Command ESO, and Command Reviewer in the Sailor's Chain of Command can also view the Sailor's EAW at this time. Users can only take actions, however, such as document uploads and digitally signing when the EAW is routed to their role. EAW is routed to user roles and not specific users. Anyone in the routing can see a candidate's EAW. They are unable to make updates unless the EAW status is in their user role. The fields are grayed out. Note, when worksheets are created, data is a snapshot in time. EAW does not currently have dynamic data updated capability. ESOs or command ESOs must manually update EAW with any data changes after worksheet creation. Step two. The ESO validates EAW data, makes corrections, and uploads supporting documents if needed, then electronically routes to command ESOs. Step 3. Command ESO validates EAW data, makes corrections, and uploads supporting documents if needed, then routes to the sailor. Step 4. Sailor validates worksheet information and certifies it to be correct, then routes back to the command ESO. When the EAW is routed to the sailor, command reviewers can also upload documents. Step 5. Command ESO routes sailor verified EAW to the ESO for finalization. Step 6. ESO takes corrective actions if required, validates the worksheet, and electronically signs to close out the routing process. The EAW must be validated and closed prior to exam administration dates. The command ESO or ESO must finalize EAW even when in disconnected operations. Step 7. Worksheet data is locked 24 hours after the exam administration date and data to include performance mark average and award information is sent electronically to the Navy Advancement Center to load into the Navy Enlisted Advancement System. Step 8. The Navy Enlisted Advancement System creates a cycle record using EAW data to determine eligibility and calculate final multiple score values for advancement determination. Step 9. EAW's post-exam administration comments function is used by commands to provide comments and or supporting documentation for adjudicating discrepancies or updating candidate information after the exam. Note. Commands will no longer correct candidate discrepancies via email or messages. All discrepancies must be corrected using post-exam comments functionality in EAW. All sailors can see these record changes and system updates on their worksheet. 
This brief introduction into the Enlisted Advancement Worksheet explains the routing and functionality only. For detailed tutorials, navigate to the NSIPS login page and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Under the Training section, you will find EAW Tutorial. The training modules explain step-by-step -step what you need to do regardless of your role, sailor, ESO, or command reviewer. And don't forget to check in regularly to the NPC Enlisted Advancement Worksheet webpage for the latest information. The Enlisted Advancement Worksheet, just another way My Navy HR is working to improve the careers of sailors.